but if you look at task manager we're going to go in task manager and you're going to come over here to the processes tab and you're going to come over here now verify that it is not actually open on your your, your bar, bottom bar down here but you want to right click on each one of these and click end all of your emulate logics processors okay you end task you close your process or you close your task manager out and then you open it back up you open RS um, you know, your studio of logics uh, 5000 logics emulate up and this time it will work so if you ever do do get in that problem where something is messed up or something of that nature I did create that problem on purpose so uh, again that it is a known thing that does happen and I want to show you how to recover and get out of it again when it comes down to it all right we went through using emulate 5000 or our logix 5000 with emulator right so this is going to be with studio 5000 logix emulate now it's slightly different but again when it comes to the same exact process you're going to go to a slot you're going to pick your open your slot you're going to come over here and you're going to hit create now at that point in time you have a, you can create uh, your processor or your simulate IO. Your processor in my case I have versions uh, right here. You can choose your version. I have version 20 all the way down to 23 or 33. So I can choose whatever I want to on that and then emulate those processes. In this case I can show you that where I emulated two of these. Um, this is a uh, state machine robot engine that I actually did and um, uh, this was all emulated nothing the no real processors whatsoever um, if you, you've seen any of my easy plc videos uh, where i link the two that 3d software and everything in there um, you e can easily tell that right you can easily see that that is what i used so this is actually coming in showing a state machine but you see the processor is logix um, it's an it's a emulate processor right here so this is in slot 8 so if I come over here and I put this what version is this this is come over here check the version it's version 31 if I change this I can change this to version 33 right change that to version 33 and what I'll do is in that effort when, once this process changes I can come over here to while we're doing that we can go into slot 8 come over here at our processor there at version 33 and we'll come over here click next we have that in there now and now we are able to come over here and go online with this now as soon as the again the program is changing uh, when it comes to it I actually did not want to change the type so let me come over here and let's see let's see if we can't um, load this uh, again real quick just without causing any problems so we're going to open this up again we're going to then convert it. What we did is uh, we did not select a pr proper processor. Um, so just keep that in mind. This is a common mistake that sometimes gets made. So just keep that in mind uh, when you're making a new processor. Uh, it's already open. So what we're doing is saying, okay, right here. Okay, so now we're going to come over here. This is our processor. And let's verify that it is in, it's a logic emulate right here, and it is 31. So what I didn't do, I changed the version, but you see it changed to an L75. I need to change that down to uh, the Logic Simulate again. So then that we click OK, and that's when it will change to a uh, Logic Simulate chassis. Uh, now that's going to use that actual processor that we added, right? So just keep in mind, those are common mistakes that do get made, right? So just keep that in mind, uh, no, no worries, um, but I do want to make you mindful of stuff that you may run into um, if you get to working fast and you get to operating things a little bit more you know, fluently. Um, so just keep in mind, so now we have this processor um, and this is now currently version 33. So we come over here, we can go online and we're going to pick our processor. So when it comes over here, we'll pick our proce processor right here, our backplane let's see right here come in and this is version 33 we're going to download to that real quick and I'm going to show you the second trick that I wanted to show you on the um, this actual uh, using uh, emulate right so emulator is a very cool tool there's a very um, a couple things that a lot of people don't know they can actually do with this so I'm going to show you that as soon as we get this loaded so um, uh, real quick I, I did pick a program that was you know pretty small so uh, when I say pretty small, I mean it's it's fairly decent in size. 
Um, but again, when it comes down to it, it's just a logical machine. Um, when it comes down to it now, what I want to show you is I come over here and I can click save. Now, saving a snapshot of emulator is a very helpful tool. Now, make sure all of your everything you want to save is checked or everything you don't want to save is checked. So let's just say, why would you save um, an emulator, right? Um, well, let's just say you want to load in uh, like your building machine out and you have several several processors or something of that nature. And you want to say, uh, you know, this is, um, you know, project one, you know, whatever the case may be, give it a name, whatever the project is, you're working on a machine, you're working on something for our OEM or whatever the case may be. Um, and it's going to throw it in this directory right here. So we can copy that and see this, right? So we're going to hit OK. And this is going to save that in there. And what we did, let's see if it saved it in there. It did save it as project one. So now we can go into our file structure and let's open up our file structure and come over here and go paste that in there. And I'm going to show you that it is there. Okay, so this will have all of the files that we saved in there. See that all this project one, you see all that in there? That's where your files will be. So if you're ever going to look for your files that you have saved in these slots, so slot two, slot four, uh, slot five, and uh, slot eight, I don't know if it's in there or not. It didn't like it took that. So slot eight is not actually in there. Uh, but when it comes down to it, again, you save a snapshot, you make this come over here, you name this project uh, two. Let's just call this project two for that matter and save this as it is so it's going to say okay so it cannot perform this uh, slot I don't know why I can't perform that on that one probably because it's loaded currently running um, so make sure this is in the, the remote run state when it's, this happens um, but again when it comes up to it that's another cool tool and I wanted to show you exactly where those files are located so now we should have project 2 in our file structure here and we do, we have project two. So this is where exactly our file should be. Um, and another key thing too, is if you do have your, your say for instance, you shut your logics down or you shut studio down right here and you get an error right here, just like this. I'm gonna show you this. This is gonna be a very helpful little, little tip for you uh, real quick to troubleshoot this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here. We're gonna crank up emulator. Okay, now 90% of time is gonna fail after this point. Now, if it does fail, um, let me just tell you, there's no reason to actually stress. I'm causing this problem on purpose so that I can show you how to actually recover from this. So at this point, it's, it thinks emulate is open, but it's really not open. But if you look at task manager, we're going to go in task manager and you're going to come over here to the processes tab and you're going to come over here. Now verify that it is not actually open on your, your, your bar, bottom bar down here. But you want to right click on each one of these and click end all of your emulate logics processors. Okay. You end task, you close your process or you close your task manager out, and then you open it back up. You open RS, um, you know, your studio of logics, uh, 5000 logics emulate up, and this time it will work. So if you ever do do get in that problem where something is messed up or something of that nature, I did create that problem on purpose. So again, that is a known thing that does happen and I want to show you how to recover and get out of it. Again, when it comes down to it, um, you can see our snapshots. Now it's still currently loading, so it's not going to give me the ability to do snapshots. So when you first crank open Studio 5000, Logic Simulate, give it a couple minutes to like settle out if you would before you start operating with it or start before you start using it. Uh, maybe load, load your program or do something like uh, set up links or set up, you know, whatever the case may be. Give it just give it a couple minutes to settle out and it will actually work properly. So hopefully that was a couple uh, key components to help you like troubleshoot with. Um, you know, if you're having emulate problems or if you're having studio emulate problems or even RS Logics, um, when it comes to that RS Logics 5000, the same thing applies to these processors. Now, again, you see my processors are faulted out. You see, I gave it a second to get to that point and my processors are faulted out. So I'm going to come over here, clear the fault, I clear my fault right here and I clear the fault. 
So I can come over here and the key, another key thing to this is I can come into all modules and I can throw them in all program mode right here. All of them go into program mode, go into all modules and then save again. You see I still don't have the ability because again, I don't have anything loaded. So that's the reason I don't have the ability right now. So just keep that in mind. Uh, again, that was a couple helpful tip, uh, tips as far as that goes, but I did want to show you, um, you know, using Studio uh, 5000 Logix Emulate. We did talk about RS Logix 5, um, 5000, so uh, it's all fair to say that the same thing applies to, you know, newer versions. It's just the way you use it. And if things do hang up, there's this helpful troubleshooting tools along the way. Again, those for that are using Emulate, those that are not using emulate again when it comes down to it um you know what i'm saying you, you this just really doesn't apply to you but it is good education for you to know so you can help maybe you can help a coworker or help somebody else out so hopefully that is a real uh good knowledge pass on how to troubleshoot how to go through it and again how to use it so when it comes down to it we'll see you guys on the next one